Hey girls, it's Wednesday and this week's theme is travel. Now, I have to go off to work in about an hour, so this has to be really, really quick. And I probably won't actually get to editing it until after work and I don't get off of work until 11.30 p.m. So I'm sorry if this is late. So this week's theme is travel. I've been fortunate enough to be able to travel to a lot of places with my family. I've been to Europe, I've been to a majority of the 50 states, I've been to South America, Central America, Canada, um, the Caribbean. I've been to several different places. Um, I've been to over 10 countries and about 20 or 30 of the 50 states. Um, I really enjoy traveling. I love being in a different culture, even if it is in my own country. You, there's, you can tell that there is such a big difference between the East Coast and the West Coast when you visit through people's languages and word choices uh, to how they eat, how they dress. There's so much of a difference between just the slightest area. Um, you go from New Jersey to North Carolina and people dress differently, people act differently, people are not so vain. Mm, I have to insert that because I don't like my state. New Jersey people are vain. <laughs> I really want to live in another country when I grow up. Preferably a country that is really um, surrounded by other countries and makes traveling from one nation to another a lot easier. I would love to live in the UK and by living in the UK I could take a tube, I could take the train, I could take a quick flight to a whole bunch of different countries such as France and Norway, um, France, Norway, Russia, Germany, all these different places that Otherwise, in living in the States are so far away. Now, I'm not going to say that living in the States does not have its perks. You have 50 states in which everybody is different and it's just going from one state to another is different and you're so close to Canada and you're pretty close to Mexico. Um, well, I'm not that close to Mexico, but Texas is pretty close to Mexico, California is pretty close to Mexico, I'm pretty close to Canada and the ocean. but. I love to travel. I want to be able to travel a lot when I grow up. I hope to have a profession which allows me to have a lot of time to travel. The thing about travel is it does take a lot of money and I currently don't have that type of money. Working two jobs, I barely have enough money to pay my phone bill, my car insurance, and to have the money to travel would require serious, serious work and time and planning and everything, which I feel is almost upsetting because people should have the opportunity to travel whenever they feel like it. They, it shouldn't be such an issue to get the funds together to travel because I feel like everybody should have the opportunity to travel, to be to have the opportunity to be immersed in another culture, to learn from other people. I feel like that's something that people should, I don't know, that everybody should experience in their lifetime. It's something that I feel everyone should experience in their lifetime. Travel is such an important thing to me that when I find out that someone hasn't gone to a place that I really love, I just tell them right away, if you ever have the money to go, go. Don't even hesitate, just go. However, I do understand that not everybody has the funds. So if I were living on my own, I wouldn't have the funds. And if I weren't so blessed to be in a family that is, I guess, financially well off to be able to travel, I wouldn't have the experiences I have and I probably wouldn't be so passionate about traveling because I wouldn't have had the experiences of visiting other countries. Um, in a way, I guess I'm spoiled. Um, I've been spoiled by going to different places. Um, places that other people sometimes don't even get to dream of going to. But also, you can travel within your own state, within your own country, which I live in New Jersey. I live fairly close to New York City and only it was only a few years ago that I had first gone to the Statue of Liberty. My mother only a few years ago had gone to the Statue of Liberty and she lived in New York when she was by the age of 12 up until she married my father in 1980. My mother is 55. So my mother lived in New York, in the New York City area for about 30 years and had not once stepped foot inside out of Ellis Island or the Statue of Liberty or even um, the Empire State Building. There are so many things you do take advantage of because you are so close to them. You think, oh, I'll do them someday, but really, someday's going to come and go and then you're never going to experience them. Though it's great to travel outside of the country, there are so many things within your own state that you can see that other people 
come from abroad to see. Like, in Texas. Kimber, you live in Texas. I would love to see the Alamo, and I, my cousin lives in Texas, and he's lived in Texas for several years, never seen the Alamo. And, you know, he does live on the other side of Texas, so it's kind of far, but there are so many things within one's own state that bring, that bring tourists and that the people in their own state have never seen, never experienced. So, with travel, though it's great to go overseas, there's so many things in your own backyard that you can see. Travel is all a matter of perspective. You, one can think travel and think going to a different country, or one can think travel and think going down the street. So girls, I have to go off to work, but I will see you all later this week. I can't wait to find out what next th week's theme is. Bye girls, have a nice day.